Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the free website design course. In the last session, we completed designing a beautiful WordPress website where we used some free plugins and designed a website using Elementor. Now, I used some of the free plugins to design the website. You can play with the settings of the Elementor and you will be able to change the layout. You will be able to make a completely different website. There are hundreds of free plugins that you can use and create any kind of WordPress website. It's so simple. You just need to play with the settings. Now, in this section, we are going to discuss about Google Analytics and Google Search Console. Now, I believe that you are able to design a website, but you need to monitor the growth of your website or your online business. You cannot manage what you don't measure. Now, Google Analytics is the tool which will allow you to measure and manage the growth of your website data. Google Search Console is one of the best free SEO tool you need to have it on your website. Google Search Console will give you detailed information about your website performance in Google search engine results. It will give you number of clicks, click through rate, average position of your web page for a particular keyword. It will also give you the complete backlink profile of all the pages. You will know which page has backlinks and where it is coming from. Now, based on all the information provided by Google Analytics and Google Search Console, you will be able to improve your website performance. So let's start with it. Those who are watching this video for the first time, check out the playlist of my completely free website design course on my YouTube channel. It's a completely free in-depth website design course for beginners, the business owners and those who want to start a career in website designing. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel for upcoming new free online courses. All right, so let's start with the Google Analytics first. In order to have a Google Analytics account, you will need to have Google account. If you are using Gmail, then you have Google account. If you are using YouTube, then you have Google account. If you do not have any Google account, then you need to sign up for the Google account. So I believe you already have Google account. So let's go to the analytics.google.com. This is the website where you can create Google Analytics account. Now log into your Google Analytics account using your Google account. Click on start majoring. Okay, now enter the name for the account. I'll enter the name of my website. Let's click next. Property name will be the same as my website name. I'll leave the time as it is or I'll just make it India. Currency, I'll make it US dollar only and click next. Select the industry. If you want to check these boxes, you can check these boxes. Click create. Accept. Now it is going to create a property for our website. So we are going to use it on website. So select web, enter the URL. This will be the URL of your website, the domain of your website. Click on create a stream. Okay, so these are the settings uh, as I see here. Let's go to home. Okay, it's not, it will not show anything because our website is not connected. So now we are going to connect this with our website. So let's go to our website. Let's log into our, do the word press of our website. Okay, now I'm logged into my website. Now let's go to plugins, go to add new. There is a Google plugin. Look for Google site. Good. So this plugin is basically designed by Google itself. So you can trust this one. Click on install now. This plugin is basically going to connect our website to all the Google features such as analytics, Google search console. All will be in single plugin. 
So this is the best way to set up your Google Analytics and Google Search Console. Click on check this box and click start setup. Okay, now click on sign in with Google. We are going to verify our Google account and our website so, so that they will link. It will ask me to sign up, log in. All right, so now it is asking me to grant the permission for Google Sidekit plugin. So let me allow. Click on allow. Click allow. Proceed. We are in the process of linking our website to Google Analytics and all the Google features. Click allow and click add site. Now let's go to dashboard. Let's see how the how does this look. Now we are back to our website, uh, WordPress dashboard, and now it will show. Now it is showing the Google Search Console, the site kit. Now we need to connect this service, Google Analytics. So click on connect service. Again, select your account. It's going to do the same process again. Allow. Allow. Now we need to select the account that we just created. So select your account that we created on analytics. All website data, leave it as it is. And click on configure. Click proceed. Allow. Allow. So we are granting the access to site kit. All right, it shows connected. So using this Google Sidekit uh, plugin, you will be able to connect Google Search Console as well as Google Analytics to your WordPress dashboard. Uh, you can also connect AdSense if you have or Google Page Speed Insight. So right now we are we will be focusing only on Google Analytics and Google Search Console. So let's see how does this look like. So click on Analytics. Now it's still gathering the data because we just connected it so let's go back to this one now it shows nothing here click on real time okay now let's check if it is really connected let's try our website here okay now let's go back to this one and see all right so it seems that it's still uh, going through the installation process and it will it may take some time meanwhile I'll show you the demo account so I have just opened the demo Google Analytics account so that you can understand how does this work. So this is how the dashboard of the analytics will look like. This is the home. If you go to home, it will show you the current uh, status of your website. Let's see how many active users are there. It will show 22 active users are there and uh, you can see the analytics of your website, how many visitors are there. How many users I guess this is a weekly data you can change the date also see from which country you are getting most visits the desktop mobile tablet which pages are getting unique views users this is the real-time data it, it, show, it will show the real-time data see this is how it, it's going to look now let's let's check this one acquisition go to source or medium now this will show the clicks you are getting from how many clicks you are getting from Google from other website you will it will also show the clicks you are getting from uh, the other websites such as YouTube or Facebook all the website it will show so accordingly you can go ahead and improve your website and this is where we can check site content go to all pages now here it will show 
which pages uh, which pages are getting uh, more clicks you see page views unique views entrance what is the bounce rate why people are leaving you need to work on this now let's go to google search console so let's try google search console click on the first link and click on start now now we are logged into google search console account just click on this ok or got it now this is basically the new account that we just created you see the domain is here permafreelance.com and there is nothing to report right now because google will take time to go through our website if their crawlers are going to go through all the pages of our website and they will start gathering the data of our website so after setting up the google search console it may take one or two weeks to get the complete data of your website okay so meanwhile what i'll do i'll show one of my old website google search console data so that you will know how does this work all right so this is how the google search console will look like this is one of my old website it's pretty old maybe nine ten years old website and i am not working on it much so you you won't see a lot of data or backlinks here now this is the dashboard of the google search console you will see total number of clicks for last three months for that particular website total impressions what is the click through rate and what is the average position of this website now if you if you scroll down it will show uh, for which keyword it is ranking here are the clicks here are the impression you can click on it and it will get which keyword is getting impression if you click on this average position so you will see the position of that particular web page so let's see links is router login it shows i'm getting five clicks impression 14793 and position is at uh, 4.2 now if you if you see this position number one let's let me show the click through rate also so when your website is at the top position you will see the best click through rate so you need to have your website at the top position now as when you go down when your website is not at the top you will see different results let me show let's see here you see the click through rate is 37 here 58 30 36 now let's see what happens when we go when our website is not at the top position let's see let's see the three when we are at number three it's 20 17 11 imagine what would be for 4.2 10 percent okay now when we go down the click through rate will go down so you need to have your website ranking at the top position and this this is where comes the search engine optimization you need to work on search engine optimization in the coming sections uh, we will be discussing about search engine optimization this is the important part of your website uh, designing because you have the website but if it is not coming in the google search results then there is no use of having a beautiful website okay so this is how the google search console works now if you go to pages click on this pages it will show which page is getting more clicks you can see this page is getting more clicks they are sorted by clicks thousand clicks in three months what is the position of this page now see the position of this page is 19.1 so it, it is way at the bottom so i'll need to work on this page and get it up so that i'll get more more clicks on this website or on this web page now you see all the clicks and impression click through rate and position of the particular website now let's check this one let's click on this page now we are checking the analytics of this particular page now go to select we have selected this page and we are looking for queries so these are the queries for this particular page only okay so this is the keyword people are typing the position of this web page is 5.3 and click through rate is 5 percent let's sort it by position one and you see click through rate is 8.3 but the impression is very low okay now let's check this one links 
now this section will show how many external links are coming to my website now this particular page has 542 backlinks this one has 418 backlinks it will also show the internal links to the website this is the list of website uh, from where i'm getting the backlinks and this is the anchor text if you're designing a website you need to work on search engine optimization you know the backlink is the major part of search engine optimization so you need to get good backlinks quality backlinks to your website i'll tell you how to work on keyword research backlink profile and search engine optimization in coming sections if you have any questions about google analytics or google search console you can leave the comment in the comment box now in this section we have covered google analytics and google search console it is a very deep topic so we will discuss more on this google analytics and google search console in the coming videos also now in the next section we will discuss about how to improve the speed of our website now let's see what is the current speed of our website this tool this is a google tool uh, google page speed insights this will tell you the speed performance of your website and if you want to rank higher in the search engines you will need to improve you will need to work on the page speed of your website you will need to improve it now right now the page speed of this website is is way down we need to definitely work on this the mobile it shows 31 desktop it shows 78 now we can increase the page speed of your website by using free plugins also okay so in the next section we will discuss about page speed do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips